Okay, my name is Gary Taylor, and welcome to Mass Transit Platform. Well, it's five o'clock on Friday, and uh, you're looking forward to going home, and your boss rushes in and says, look, you know, uh, you need to clear your decks, we've got something really important for you to do. I want you to build a new project. It's got to be up and stable, stable and using Mass Transit and RabbitMQ. Uh, we need multiple instances of it running on a Kubernetes cluster, um, and we need it in the next hour. Um, Crack on. Okay, so of course the first thing we need to do is create a new project. So let's do a sample project, uh, call it Sample Platform Consumer. Let's dive into that particular folder. We're going to be using Mass Transit and I want to use RabbitMQ, so I don't want to bother with actually doing any real work, so I'm just going to do a platform abstraction. Let's create a new consumer to get our work done. So let's call that sample. So we've created a new consumer, which is cool, because I don't really want to type of code. We've got a couple of uh, mass transit uh, systems running, uh, and we've got a shared component uh, for all of our interfaces, our contracts. So let's import that. Okay, let's have a look at it, shall we? Let's have a look at the open it up in code and let's do some work. So if we can see, we've got our project, got our contracts, got our consumer, uh, got a sample consumer. Um, don't need the definitions, not going to set it up that way, so I'm going to delete that file. Let's have a look at sample and let's actually look at contracts and let's import the correct contract. So the command is sample command, sample command, let's save it and reload it. Seems to be happy now. It's not really useful, but we, we always want login, so let's make sure we've got login. Let's include the dependencies, shall we? Because of course we want that. And let's construct this using dependency injection. So we're going to declare that as the constructor. And of course, we want to actually use a login. So let's log something out as we go. This looks cool to me. Let's go back and run it, shall we? So we're getting Rabbit up and running, we're getting our consumers up and running, getting our producer up and running, and let's see what's happening with our new little uh, consumer. Let's see if it's running. So here we go, messages going out, messages coming back. Right, let's finish for the day and let's push this out to production. Awesome. Wait, wait, what a minute. Where's mass transit? Where's my configuration? Where's my boilerplate? How's my login working? Where is my username and password for mass transit and RabbitMQ and all the configuration? I've just got a project with two references, one for contracts and interfaces, and a sample file, which I don't even need. And I've got a consumer that's logging. Awesome, looks like I'm done for the day. Okay, so as you've seen, um, we were able to get something up using platform uh, very, very quickly. However, there is a little bit more involved in doing this. And in the next video, I'll show you through um, how to actually do this in a professional way with backup, with tests, with a producer, how you actually get um, Docker, Compose up and running, and how you can even get something like Scaffold up and running to actually deploy this to a Kubernetes cluster. The next word of warning is that platform, it doesn't actually work in .NET Core 6. It's something that Mass Transit are looking to not support in the future. But the reason why I've created this video is that the idea of creating this side cut, this ability to actually remove all of your boilerplate code and place it in a central Docker container and therefore just be able to create a project extremely quickly. You know, a couple of minutes I just created a project and was able to be up and running. 
that is something that's tremendously powerful and I'll go into more detail on that in the next video. For now, hope you liked it. Remember, please subscribe.